you guys have a great movie here. Uh, oh, Hello, I Must Be you. Going. And there's not anybody that sees this that doesn't kind of relate to one aspect of it. Yeah. Uh, and the, for, for you, um, kind of everything coming undone and then coming kind of together all at the same time. But tell me a little bit about it for you and the, the kind of it's, character from your point perspective. The character is so interesting to me because she starts the movie and she's such a mess and not really like a fun mess, you know, she's just, she's depressed, she's sitting around eating, she's sitting in her house, she's just not active and not doing anything and she spent the last portion of her life sort of in service to her husband. Mm -hmm. She's completely abandoned anything she was interested in, thoughts of a career, and she's just led this kind of really boring life mm -hmm. with him where the most exciting thing they do is, you know, renovations and she's just sort of happy to be supporting him, you know, the sort of narcissistic man that she's with and he leaves her unexpectedly and she's just sort of adrift. Right. For, for me, and when you go back to live with your parents, yes. isn't that kind of the your mom who life plays, isn't yeah. she kind of mirroring what you would have been? I mean, isn't that the end game is kind of where your mom is? Exactly, and she sort of had these hopes of following an artistic career or doing photography mm -hmm. or something like that, which nobody ever really supported because it's not a real right. job. And you know, the way I grew up, I, in my family you would be a doctor or a lawyer, so I'm the oldest of my siblings and it was like, what are you saying? You're going to be an actress? Mm -hmm. It was, so I understand that feeling. What about the pressure, the marriage pressure and the kind of, um, that life mm. of that perfect, like you have that scene in a, in a store where she's like, right, did you get married? Did you I have know. any children? She's Do you so have, and she's funny. like sizing her up, like looking for a ring, your yeah, character's a hot be. mess. I know, I'm in there sweaty and disgusting and she just, you know, the, the character who she sees in the store just without any of those things to point to, she doesn't know how to relate to her, she doesn't have children, she's not married anymore, she's obviously a disaster mm -hmm. and it's just sort of like, who are you? Mm -hmm. And people keep asking her, what have you been doing, what is your life? And she's just like, and, you know, it's a crazy thing to sort of think, gosh, I'm halfway through my life and what have I done, who am I, what do I want to do? huge television show, movies, all kinds of things. You happy you decided to be an actress? I am happy. I, d I recently went through a little bit of a thing where I thought, gosh, this is the only job I've ever had. This is the only thing I've ever done in my life. And that felt a little crazy to me, but it was all I ever wanted to do. But I'm happy. I feel very fortunate to be working and mm -hmm. being challenged and working yeah. with people I respect. Well, thanks a lot. Okay, it's good to see you, honey. So good, good luck to with see that. You as All right. Well. Thank All right, you. Hun.